Welcome to the Clarington Chronicle Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Stanish. This is podcast episode 89 for Friday, December 22nd, 2017. Glad to have you join me. This episode, we're going to have a talk with the Bicycle Santa. Okay, so I'm in. I'm with Jim Boat here, and uh, he's known locally in Curtis as the Bicycle Santa. So he's uh, got a display that he's put out that's very well known in the community, and everyone loves it. And uh, welcome, uh, Jim Boat. Hi, Mark. Uh, glad to be on your show. Um, yes, we've been we've been involved with Bike Santa for 24 years now. Since 1994 it was the first winter Bike Santa went out. Um, at that time, he had a, uh, a blue set of coveralls. He's had three changes of clothing in those years. Mm-hmm. Right from the blue coveralls to uh, a set of red long johns to the current uh, nice-looking new set of suit clothes, uh, red clothes that he has on now. In all those years, he's always had a bike helmet. Uh-huh. And uh, so how did you come up with this idea of the bicycle Santa? Well, um, I love bicycling. I've biked all my life and uh, had lots of extra bikes. And that particular bike that Bike Santa's on is one that I used to use before I gave it the Bike Santa to ride to work. Um, We we thought about uh, putting out a scarecrow on a bicycle the very first year we moved here for Halloween. And that spawned the idea of making a Bike Santa. So we recreated the Bike Santa out of the scarecrow, hence the idea that he had the, uh, the blue coveralls. Mm-hmm. The and that went over pretty good. The second or third year, I'm going to say the second year, we had some vandalism. So he got knocked down, and we took him down, brought him in the garage, and we put a sign up indicating that Bike Santa had to go to the hospital. <laughs> and we had all sorts of cards come along to the house saying they hope oh my. Santa was okay. And we were able to get him back up before Christmas that year. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. That was one of my questions. I was wondering if you had any uh, theft or damage, but I guess there, there you go. Now, in recent years, it's been okay. We've never had an issue since then, and um, we, both my wife and I and our neighbors, feel that so many kids have grown up with them that now they're bringing back their kids to see them. Oh, very nice, um, very, yeah. And and it was just a couple of years ago. Um, I'm fairly old, so I really wasn't in tune with Facebook. And somebody said, oh, somebody took a picture of Bike Santa, and he's on Facebook. And we started seeing all the posts and uh-huh. how much he means to people. And uh, i got to say, back in uh, maybe 2002 or 2003, some of the children would say, when is he going up? Mm-hmm. And I would say he goes up a week before Christmas. And the year after that, we decided to put the countdown sign out. And so the countdown sign goes from uh, two weeks before Christmas, and the sign counts down from seven down to one. And when Bike Santa goes up, we told the kids that's exactly one week till Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Now, have have you had any thought uh, as to a uh, Mrs. Claus that might be bicycling as well? (laughs) No, I haven't. Uh, (laughs) Well, that's not a bad idea. I'll have to talk to my wife about that. Uh, I'm in charge of Mr. Claus. There we go. Um, yeah. Now I'm also. I, I, now you won an award recently, didn't you? What was that about? Yeah, so it wasn't so much an award. Uh, I've been active in cycling in our area, and uh, it, it's. Uh, I had a hill named after me on the waterfront trail, part of the trail that goes through Clarington, and uh, the trail, the hill was very, very steep and a limited access to a lot of people that couldn't make it up the hill. Mm-hmm. Well, we lobbied with uh, the municipality of Clarington for about 10 years to get them to reroute that hill and make it more accessible to all. Mm. And that was successful. So some of my bike buddies and the bike clubs we have here locally approached the council and said they'd like to do that, unbeknowing to me. And uh, so we were called out and had uh, a nice ceremony. And it was very humbling and uh, and a very nice thing. And mm-hmm. they said they'd like to see the hill named after me before I passed on. Oh, very nice. So now, do you have any other stories about uh, about uh, the uh, uh, the bicycle Santa? Anything else unusual that has happened over the years? Well, um, like I say, he's he's in his uh, third uh, uh, set of clothes now. Um, we've noticed over the years a lot of people come and take pictures of him. And mm-hmm. uh, quite a few years ago, my wife was over at uh, I think it was the uh, one of the stores over by the uh, Town Line Mall, and she noticed a calendar in there with mm-hmm. our bike Santa on it. Wow. 
<laughs> so somebody had taken a picture and was getting a calendar made with Bike Santa on it. Um, we So we have a lot of people that come. We have a couple of running groups that now make it a regular tradition on their Tuesday run before Christmas to run over to where Bike Santa is. They all get in front and get the picture taken, and then away they go. Oh, very I've interesting. noticed over the years that if there's a light snow falling, not heavy, light, and I go out and take a picture of Bike Santa with a flash, and, and power the flash on, uh-huh. the flash bounces off the uh, snowflakes, and it just makes a picture-perfect uh, postcard. Wow, great. So, Jim, so Jim, obviously you're going to be on the nice list this year. And uh, Now, do you have any, uh, do you have any big Christmas uh, wish, wishes for Santa? Any requests? Well, uh, what I would like from, uh, from Santa this year is uh, happiness uh, to all our neighbors and friends here in Clarington. It's a great community to live in. Just love it here, and we've been here um, going on. Well, the next year will be our 25th year, and it'll be by Santa's 25th year. Okay. Um, keep an eye out over the uh, the next coming months. Uh, hopefully, uh, on Canada Day, we'll have a new uh, Bicycle Canada flag um, represented where Bike Santa sits today. Mm-hmm. So, and I guess that's to cap off. Yeah, and that's the cap off, I guess, the the 150 anniversary of Canada. Well, it will. I had this idea some time ago, and I just never got around to getting it all completed this year. But yeah, it'll be for uh, Canada's 150 51 birthday to cap it off. Right, right. Well, Jimbo, thank you very much for being on the podcast. I, I appreciate it, and uh, best of luck to Santa and and uh, Bicycle Santa. Merry Christmas to you and everyone else out there, Mark. Okay, take care. Question of the podcast. Have you seen the Bicycle Santa yet? Have you seen the Bicycle Santa? And that's it for episode number 89 of the Clarington Chronicle podcast. If you'd like to comment on the podcast or have an idea for an upcoming episode, please email me at clarringtonchronicle at gmail.com. And you can find this podcast on Twitter at Clarington Cron or on one of the Facebook pages dedicated to Clarington or communities within Clarington or on my website, markstanish.com. You can subscribe for free on iTunes or Android and get instant updates when a new podcast is uploaded. Thank you for listening, and Merry Christmas.